Hello students, welcome back to the chapter Motion Module 2. Now in this module, we shall study the types of motion and an activity to identify the types of motion. So, motion as we have already discussed it earlier, an object is said to be in motion if it changes its place with respect to the surrounding. And it is of how many types? It is basically of two types. The first is uniform and second is non-uniform. First point says that the motion in which the object covers equal distance in equal interval of time is called uniform motion. Let's understand it with the help of an example. So in this case, as we see, the hands of a clock covers equal distance in equal interval of time. So it is said to be in uniform motion. Moving to the next point, the point says that the motion in which the object covers unequal distance in equal interval of time, it's said to be non-uniform motion. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Here, the birds are flying in sky. So what they do, they cover unequal distance in equal interval of time. So they are said to be in non-uniform motion. Moving to the next point, as it says, in uniform motion, acceleration is zero. Basically, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, which we'll study in details in later segment of the chapter. The second point says that in non-uniform motion, acceleration is not constant. Now, there is an activity to identify the types of motion. So here we have options. First is uniform motion and second is non-uniform motion. Now here, what we see is electrons revolve around nucleus. So identify which type of motion is this? Is it uniform or non-uniform? The answer is it's uniform motion. Why? Because it covers equal distance in equal interval of time. So moving to the next example. Train arrives and departs from a platform. So the question is, is it an example of uniform motion or non-uniform? The answer is obviously non-uniform. The reason we all know, because it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. Let's move to the next example. Here, this is something quite familiar because we have already done it earlier. So what do you think? The movement of the hands of a clock, is it a uniform motion or non-uniform motion? The answer is quite simple. It is uniform motion. The reason we all know, because it covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Let's move to the next example. So the motions of vehicle on extremely busy road, what do you think? Is it uniform or non-uniform? The answer is obviously it is non-uniform motion. The reason we all know, because it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. Let's move to the next example. So birds fly in the sky. Again, it is something quite familiar. We've already done it earlier. So this is basically a non-uniform motion. Reason we all know, because it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. Let's move to the next example. So athletes running on a track. What do you think? Is it going to be a uniform or non-uniform? The answer is obviously non-uniform. Reason we all know, because it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. 